Destination number one, Lake Willoughby. Lake Willoughby has been on my bucket list for years, so to be able to bring Coda and Polly has been such a treat. So far, this road trip is going great. Destination number two, Cold Hollow Cider Mill. This dog-friendly spot is famous for its homemade apple cider. I got Dakota a treat. <laughs> and delicious donuts. So stop in and grab a treat. For dinner, we are at the Trap Family Lodge, sitting outside with no one. Dogs are allowed, only outdoors, unless you have a service animal. I got a nice hot chocolate because it's a little freezing out here. Dakota is dying to have, but she can't have it. Oh, that's yummy. Dinner has finally arrived. It's about 48 degrees. Johannes burger with some raw onions. Brie embracing her German heritage with a bratwurst and some french fries. Tonight's setup. First attempt at car camping with Coda. So we bought this enormous air mattress that's a little bit bigger than a full size. And it fits the 21 Ford Bronco because if you see, it comes out on the side to fit the back two seats properly. Now I'm making the bed. Coda's like, what the hell did I get myself into? Good morning. <laughs> Hi, Coda. What are you doing? How'd you like car camp in a little bit? We wake up to some amazing fall colors. Coda's up and early for our hike. Coda, you didn't want to do it anymore? Sometimes she gets herself into these predicaments. Like this one where she can't climb the rocks. Here we go. Good girl. We made it. <laughs> Artist Bluff is such a great hike that we try and do every year. It's only one mile and has some fantastic views. If you're up north, you would be missing out if you didn't drive the Kinkamangas Highway in New Hampshire. There are tons of stops to take in all the foliage, and we highly recommend the Lincoln Woods Suspension Bridge. What do you see? I see what we're looking at. Just got to the hairpin curve. It's raining, but it's going to stop in the next five minutes. So we're going to put the drone up and try and see what this place looks like from above. All right, Polly, how's it looking? Check this out. It looks insane. We made it to our last hike of the day. We are going to Sabaday Falls. What is it? She gets all the treats after the hikes. Honestly, these smell delicious. Can like humans eat these? Ew. It doesn't taste like how it smells. <laughs> Keep it for Coda. I can't believe you just did that, ew. We picked a super cute cabin right on Lake Winnipesaukee to stay the night. We got back to our Airbnb. Coda's checking it out. Today we are exploring Woodstock and Taftville, Vermont. Coda! We made it to the town of Woodstock. We are on the main street and we are gonna go hit one of these farmer's markets. I'm so excited. Coda's all dressed up in her best fall gear. What is it, time to get pizza? Oh my God. Behold. Oh, cocos. We got some incredible cool shots. The towns in the Northeast give the best fall vibes, especially all the churches. Coda fell asleep. How adorable is that? Oh my gosh. Since Coda fell asleep, like I said, we are just gonna drive around now and just look at the foliage. Coda's still taking a nap, so I'm gonna run into the farmer's market. This beautiful spot is called Rattlesnake Cliff. It has beautiful panoramic views, fall foliage all over here to the left. This spot definitely comes at a price. It's about a four and a half mile hike. A really cool thing about the Rattlesnake Cliff Trail is that along the way at the beginning, there are these beautiful waterfalls and pools that in the summer month you can go swimming at. Another cool stop to make is the Tree Tunnel in Stowe on Mountain Road.
Another epic spot is the Bingham Falls. There are a set of three waterfalls and they are just so cool to explore. You have to check them out. If you have a little extra time, make sure you stop at the Conway Scenic Railroad and do a hike around the area or hop on the train for a scenic ride.